Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to share a free automation script that I use to download all my attachments from Outlook. So in Outlook, there's no easy way to download attachments from all your emails. And let's say uh, here you have uh, 100 emails and each email has like 5 to 10 attachments. And in Outlook, you kind of have to manually uh, download all the attachments one by one. And I found that very time consuming. So that's why yesterday while I was cleaning my uh, Outlook inbox, I wrote this VBA script to basically download all the attachments from uh, all the emails that contains attachments. And I'm going to share the VBA script with you guys in this video. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. And let's go ahead and insert a new module. And I'm going to call the subroutine download attachments. So here I'm going to create my variables first. The Phoebe script is going to download all the attachments from all the emails that are in the inbox folder. And for the automation script, I'm actually going to use the file system object API. And so here I'm going to create my FSL object. And here I'm going to create a variable that going to store the uh, the folder directory that where we're going to save the files. And here we have a, a folder created. So the folder is called extra outlook attachments. And I'm going to copy uh, this directory path. And I'm going to assign the path string to file save for the path uh, variable. And next, I'm going to uh, create my objects. So here, get okay, namespace. And I'm going to uh, use the MAPI uh, email service type. And as well as, uh, I'm going to get the Outlook for the inbox as well, inbox. And from the namespace, uh, get default folder. You want to choose OL for the inbox. And here I'm going to create my file system uh, object API. So set FSO create script. So it should be create an uh, object and a script. Create, uh, create object. And the API name is uh, scripting file system object. And here I'm going to uh, empty out the objects at the end. Now the next step is we need to iterate each email one by one. So for each OL mail uh, in for the underscore inbox dot items. And here I'm going to use the type name function to determine the email type. I only want to extra attachments from just, uh, just regular emails. So here uh, the mail type is, called, is going to be mail item. And if uh, there's attachments, so uh, OL mail attachments that counts is greater than zero. In that case, we can iterate each attachment and save the attachment one by one. So for um, OL attachment in OL mail attachments, oops, oh, for each. And here I'm actually going to use the a file system object to create a folder 
for each email that contains attachment, I want to create a folder uh, for those emails and put the attachment in those folders. That way that I can quickly uh, identify you know, where the attachments are coming from. So here from the file system object API, there's a method called create folder. And here I need to build a uh, folder directory path. So build path. And I'll grab the uh, file save for the path plus the email subject name. So olmail.subject. Okay. Let me do this. Now, here within the for each statement, we can we can go ahead and save the attachment one by one. So ol attachment dot save as file. And here, uh, I'm just going to grab this code right here. And I'm going to uh, concatenate it with backward slash and followed by the the file name. And that's it. So let me just do a quick uh, compile. Oh, here's a typo. Okay, now everything looks uh, good. So let me close this. And so right now, there's no folder or anything. Now, if I go to developer tab and click on macros and macros, and I'm going to just run the download attachment macro. And only four folders got created. That means that uh, from my Outlook inbox, only four emails have attachments. So here from the how to merge table from multiple Excel file using uh, access email. And within that uh, email, there's only an image file. And from the uh, simple multi attachment email, there are two files. One is the zip file, the other one is the Excel file. And here's a uh, text file and so on. What if you want to save the attachment by uh, extension type? Like if you only want to save Excel file, image file, or text file. And here, let's go back to VBA window. And what we can do is here we can insert a condition. So here I like to use the case statement to specify my file type extension name. So here using the file system object API, and there's a method called get extension name, which will returns the extension name from a file name. And here we need to provide the file name. And since the uh, string comparison is case sensitive, so we need to. So I'm going to convert everything to uh, uppercase. Now let's say I only want to save uh, Excel files. So here I can uh, specify my uh, file type as XLSX. And as well as XLSM. And if you want, you can also uh, specify other file type. So let's say if I want to save an image file to a different folder. And here I can uh, grab the same, uh, grab this line right here. And here, all I need to do is just replace the, the file save folder path with a different uh, folder path. And I'm going to comment this out for now. And that's it. So one of the uh, drawback with uh, this code right here, when you introduce the, the case statement in the code, is that right here, uh, because while, uh, first of all, uh, 
because we have the condition where we're looking at uh, if the email has has at least one attachment, and we are going to create a folder. But here we have another condition. So here, uh, if the if condition one passed, but condition two fail, and we're still going to create a folder. So basically, uh, the main drawback with um, introducing the case statement is that you're going to run into issue where you're going to uh, create folders, but inside those folders there will be uh, no attachments. So just a FYI. Now let me close the Phoebe window. And here are the image file. So now I know that from my email, uh, simple multi attachment email, and this one Excel file. And for the uh, for the remaining emails, there's no Excel file. So when I rerun the code, I should expect that uh, the first, uh, the last two folder plus this folder right here. Uh, there's going to be uh, no attachments inside. Now let me delete all the folders. And now if I go back and just rerun the macro. Oops. Case. Oh. Let me try again. So here macros and download attachments. Okay, now if I open just the first folder and there's no attachment and there's no attachment here as well. But if I uh, open sim simple multi attachment email in here that leaves me with just one Excel file. So this is everything I have to show you guys. And hopefully you guys will find this automation script useful. And feel free to send me an email if you have any question. If you found this video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.